What's up boys and girls? Who am I kidding? No girls actually watch this at all. Today we're making a one ton Minecraft grass block in real life for the first time ever in history. I think. I'm not I'm not sure about that, but we're gonna need a lot of supplies, so let's go. Check, check, check it out. So we're back here with all our supplies. We've got some boards, a lot of soil, some grass for the top, and a bunch more soil. It's probably about like 150 bucks worth of soil, and here's the platform it's all gonna be started on. So without further ado, let's go cut some wood up. So I started things off by measuring up all the pieces of wood and cutting them all to square as fast as humanly possible, and haters will say that this is all sped up, but I tell you, I literally work this fast every single day. Then I assembled the box by bracketing the edges just with these square brackets, all two bolts in each and then it was solid as and decided to bracket up the base as well so it didn't move and also it didn't blow out from the bottom but I heard something in the distance and it was kind of odd because it really under ratcheting up the middle and I thought this is gonna need this extra support in the middle just in case it explodes out the center and of course I didn't buy any extra brackets or any extra bolts to actually do this up so this was really my only option at the end but I feel like this uh, is the best way to hold it and the best way to not to go out and I was pretty happy with that it was pretty sturdy and ready to go onto the dumping of the one ton of soil into this thing but instead of using the regular old technique let's use some brutality <laughs> But of course, brutality did not equal efficiency, so I just decided to start ripping them open with my hands, liver king style. I then used a the shovel to start spreading the dirt around and the hose to keep the soil moist as possible. The moist soil and compacting should result in the tightest grass block possible. So my first choice of compacting was of course what I thought would be the best, a brick. Just got in there and just started beating that soil to death, just as hard as I could. But I realized really quick that dancing was the option. Dancing is the only way, not violence. It's all about dancing. But of course my enthusiasm slowly windled for dancing because I realized how much work I actually had ahead of me. All the bags of sand, all the watering, all the compacting, maybe a little dancing, maybe a little, but just so much bags of soil and it just was slowly crushing my soul, just soil bag and then water and then stomp it down and then soil bag and soil bag and soil bag and more soil bag and then crushing defeat and then just keep going because you have to persevere through it. Maybe star jumps were the answer. I didn't know at this point. I lost my sanity. It was all just going down the drain. But after this continued effort over and over again and the weight of this soil just getting heavier and heavier and heavier, I felt something and it was not good at all. I just heard the bass crack. Uh-oh. I hope it's gonna hold up. We just gotta keep going. And keep going on, did. There was gonna be nothing that was gonna hold me back. No matter how bad it gets, I always know there's a light at the end of the... ...of the tunnel, that's for sure. There is always a light at the end of every tunnel. And no matter how much soil you dig over the top of that tunnel, you can't bury the tunnel because it is a tunnel, okay? You don't, if you, a tunnel is just buried, that means it's not a tunnel, all right, okay? But after getting distracted about tunnels and life lessons, I realized I miscalculated big time. There was only one bag left of this soil and still a whole half of block to go. After like 36 bags, this is what we're at. Still not enough. It's cost so much to do this, but it's worth it. Subscribe, please, for the love of God. Just subscribe. There'll be more of this coming, don't worry. Mm -hmm. 
After that big hiccup, I got back and realized that the box was kind of bowing, so I decided to put the ratchet straps up a bit higher to stop the top bit from bowing as we get taller and taller with our soil inside it. But then after I did that, it was back to the old drawing board. This time I had more energy and determination than ever. This is actual speed of me doing it. This is the legitimate speed in which I was just slamming through this with my bag, determined to get this finished, all for it to come to a complete stop again because I'd used all the bags and the box still was not full. It was not full. I had sat there and just contemplated my life, just everything that had gone wrong up to this point and what I should do. Piece. Ooh, that's tiring. Now it's time to roll out the grass. After that mess of soil was over, I'm glad to say it was very, very satisfying to cover it up, roll this grass out, and not look at that soil for at least a little while because my rage was just building too much. But it was very satisfying to roll out that, apart from that bit. But I mean, it was satisfying to roll it out and cut it down to shape as well. As we kept going on, we just kept soldiering on through the day into the afternoon, getting late, almost night time. And we just chopped up a few pieces just to edge out this last little bit to complete the top of our grass block. Give it a little water, make sure it sticks there. <laughs> But it, look at it, look at this thing at the end of it. It's, it's all worth it to see it come together like this. Now I'm genuinely scared if this is actually gonna hold up. Look at it, it is bowing a bit, but it's holding up. I'm exhausted, but we'll see tomorrow morning whether this was all worth it. And if it's not, we just learned a life lesson for what, close to $500. Over 50, 58 bags I've used costing probably over 200 300 dollars all that wood there all bought all the grass it's all down and tomorrow we'll see you then all right here we are the following day nice beautiful day of course and she's held up pretty good by the looks of it not too bad it's kind of compressed down a little bit more the it hasn't bowed out any any more either but it's time it is time, and to say I'm nervous is a, is an understatement, all right? All right, let's take these off. Holding so far. Seems to be holding good. All right. The reveal in three, two, one. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> it literally worked. Let's go. Wow. All the hard work has paid off to see a real life grass block from Minecraft in the flesh. That's really how big it would be. That's what Minecraft reckons, one by one square. Of course, I was completely disappointed with the outcome, as you can see here. I don't, I'm not even enjoying what's going on. I don't like it. There's nothing about it that I think is perfect, and it is a grass block in my backyard. Ton worth of soil in this thing. One ton, and look at the edges. It is all just clean. An actual square of dirt, like it's cut out from the ground in, in real life. It is insane to see this right in front of me. But after all that, I look at these weeds in the core of my garden and they give me an idea big time. I decide to put them on top of this grass block and try to create like a little garden effect, like it's actually been plugged out of the ground with these flowers I bought earlier in the montage for no reason at all. Decided to chuck them on randomly, finish it off the corners with a few other of those weeds as well, just to make it look like this.
so incredibly happy with how this thing turned out. Literally the most expensive and time consuming thing I've ever done on the channel. So be sure to like and subscribe and we'll catch us in the next one. Catch you.